Hello, hello, my friends, and welcome to the live stream. Uh, it is a Friday for me, and I'm so excited that you are here joining me. Let me know if you're joining me in the chat, because today we are talking about AI and web design. How can AI, on one fateful night, bump into the beautiful, char charming, serendipitous artificial intelligence, the two of them fall in love and have a little website, baby? That's what we're talking about today. How do you combine the two things together to create a workflow? Is it going to kill all of our jobs as web designers? Let me give you a little, little hot take on that. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to kill all of our jobs, especially if you, let's be real, especially if you watch this stream. No, that's not what I'm saying. Especially if you embrace artificial intelligence and start in, like really embedding it, leveraging it in your workflow. So that's what we're gonna do today on this fine Friday. We got coffee in hand and we are ready to uh, to just play. Today's a play session, it's a sandbox session. Put it on the background, listen to it, put it on a side screen, make your coffee, do your work, and just we'll just talk about how we might do it because we got some tools open on the screen and we got some people hanging out in the chat. We're streaming live right now on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and a few other platforms. Say what's up in the chat, I'd love to talk to you. Um, Brad says, looking forward to hearing your take on it. Thank you very much, I'm looking forward to hearing your take on it, Brad. I want some questions about AI and web design. I think it's going to be real fun. This is a total side note. Check out what I have in some custom made stickers. Oh, look, designers love developers. That may be a little Jesse Showalter brand skull. Maybe you are a pixel hog and maybe you like to do all design all the time. Hey, uh, I may or may not be launching some sticker packs for sale. Why? I don't know, just for fun, because I was bored and decided to make some stickers. So, hey, let's jump in and let's talk a little bit about AI. What do we? Here, here's what we would know. Let's make a website. Ready? Boom. Design tool open. But is that the way to start? Is that the way to do it? Right? Uh, just to jump into this blank canvas. Now, what we might do is before we do that, jump into like you know do some research, go to Dribble, type some stuff in, try to find some inspiration, create a mood board, blah, 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 blah. But maybe, maybe that's a lot of legwork. That's a lot of manual labor on my part um, versus asking the artificial, uh, the AI gods to, you know, like chime in and help me out a little bit and do a little bit of work. So I got some AI tools open as well. I got Dolly open. I have Mid Journey open and the Discord server that goes along with it. I have uh, ChatGPT. We got a new ChatGPT for going, Adobe Firefly. And I also have a little AI tool I, I introduced in one of my latest videos called Chroma, where it's going to help us maybe create some color palettes. Okay, so, um, so let's, I tell you what we're going to do. We're we're gonna go straight to ChatGPT and let's just throw a little prompt down here that says, um, you know, uh, I'm designing uh, a, a, let's see, what kind of, what kind of website should we be designing? A, let's do sneakers, okay? A sneaker um, e-commerce website. Give me, um, some project requirements. Oh, let's do that. Requirements. How do you spell requirements? Requirements for the website. Uh, let's, okay, chat GPT. Let's see what you do. We're going straight here. Sure, here are some project requirements you might want to consider for your sneaker e-commerce website. User interface. Okay, we're giving me, we're giving me very specific stuff. Well, this is not bad. I don't mind this, right? Okay, like a product catalog, search and filtering apparently is going to be very important. My shopping cart, uh, definitely. Checkout process, I like it. Okay, order tracking. Um, what else? User accounts, yeah, okay, 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 okay. What else do you think, ChatGPT? Customer support, these are all things that ChatGPT are telling me are very important. Security? Need some SSL encryption. Mobile responsive, duh. Thank you very much, ChatGPT. Um, okay, great. So you know what I would do? I would say like, boom. I would take this and I would come back here and I would create a piece of paper um, and we're gonna title this proposal, um, right? And I'm gonna hit T for text. I'm gonna drop in a big thing of text right here and boom. I'm gonna say, this is my proposal. <laughs> hey, hey client, this is what I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you an e-commerce website 
that has a really sleek user interface, product catalog, shopping cart, checkout process, order tracking, user accounts, customer support, security, and also make sure that it's mobile responsive. So I would call that our proposal. Okay. All right. Um, thanks, ChatGPT. You already you made a proposal for us. Um, all right. And then let's just prompt it again and say, hey, ChatGPT, uh, um, what type, what type of, of layout should I use for the homepage? Um, ooh, we're just asking it questions right now. Ooh, the layout for your homepage will depend on various factors. Branding target audience. Mm, come on, come on. Here are some suggestions. Okay, tell me the suggestions. Okay, featured products. Oh, we had a network error. That's super fun. Let's try to regenerate the response. Uh, okay, it can depend, yeah, on your brand, your target audience. Okay, feature product layout. Uh, okay, so we want to have a featured product layout. That's def category layout. I think that makes good sense from an e-commerce perspective. A brand layout. Mm, organizes the sneaker by brand. I see. Okay, okay, because we're not making a Nike website. We're making a, a sneakers website that sells all sorts, right? Uh, sale layout. Highlights the current sales or promotions. Why didn't I think of that? Thank you. Lifestyle layout. Images of people wearing your sneakers in different settings. And a minimalist layout. Layout. The layout has a clean minimalist. So these are all different types of layouts that you could uh, like implement. Okay. So let's take this. Uh, ba -ba 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 -da -ba. We'll come back and we'll talk about, uh, we'll call this artboard layout approaches. Thank you. You may, you thought of some very nice things right here. Uh, why don't we just really quickly, why don't we be like a little bit more organized here? proposal or how about we just call this scope of work let's do that that's a little bit better huh we're using enter we're way down at 12 let's jump that thing up to like 36 boom let's take them and left align them shift a turn it to you guessed it auto layout inside of figma why because we love auto layouts i'm gonna bring this down here i'm gonna call this what are we calling we're calling this uh layout approaches okay and then let's take our layout approaches Cut them out of there, bink, and you guessed it. Replace our checklist in our auto layout. 54 from the top, 54 from the top. Well, I don't know why I care so much about designing these, but okay. So now we have some layout approaches. Okay, um, which one do we like the best? Which idea here do we like the best, right? We have like a ba -ba -ba, featured products. Uh, let's take that away. So we have like the featured products layout. That's kind of nice. Category layout, brand layout, sale layout, lifestyle, minimalist. Um, okay. Yeah, clean minimal sign focus on single product or image. Okay, so these are definitely very different takes, right? Okay. So let's see, homepage of your sneaker. What do we want to do here? Let's do a let's do a, a featured products layout. Okay. What would it look like if we did that featured products layout? Um, let's go find out. Uh can you give me the elements? Um in the order they should be displayed using a, and we'll just put these in parentheses down here. Oh, I spelled displayed wrong. Hello. Displayed using a featured, what was it called? Featured products layout. Featured products layout. Okay. Come on, chat GPT. What are you going to do for me? What have you done for me lately? Yeah, here's an example of the elements you might consider including a hero image. Okay, now we're doing like the page layout. All right, hero image, headline, definitely. Call to action. Okay, you're not impressing me so far. This is all featured products, a grid or carousel. Okay, product categories. Yeah, optional, but you might include links to product categories. Oh, I like how it said optional. Do we see that? Testimonials, yes, and a footer. You're set. Okay, remember the order of the layout? They can vary depending on your brand target audience. So feel free to experiment. Thank you for the permission. All right, now here's what I would say about this one. This is going to be an internal document for our project where we're going to bring this over here. And we might say, we might call these prompts. Let's call them prompts. Boom. Okay. So 
when we do we're gonna go in i think we're gonna let's just stop right there okay we're going to take what we've learned so far because we kind of started big and ai has helped us kind of filter down to the big picture what's the scope of work let's go back and check it out right we said hey what's the scope of work okay all right well knowing that scope of work what approaches might we have visually for the layout let's pick a layout and this layout was for uh featured products right a featured product and these are the prompts we got to try to get our featured product so we're gonna prompt uh mid journey and dolly and some other tools right now saying like give me a a website layout for a sneaker like uh, a web e-commerce site that has these categories in it and see what we get and then we might want to, we might build on a little bit more okay so okay let's take these i like this let's write out an actual prompt shall we uh i'm just gonna suck this up like this pink pink and i'm just gonna write my prompts here okay so this is where you know i'm not gonna feed this whole mess into it right this would be like ridiculous but what i'm gonna do instead is oh i don't want to start a new document thank you close that tab uh what i what i would do instead is here's a first attempt at a prompt okay and let's zoom out a little bit we're gonna say i think all of my prompts will st probably start with a sneaker uh, uh sneaker e-commerce website homepage. okay it's gonna start with that then it's gonna go to um uh ba -ba 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 -ba. we're gonna say modern layout uh let's and let's just interject we'll interject some of the color and some of the different things at the end shall we okay uh yeah that'll be fun okay modern layout and it needs to have and here's our things hero image headline call to action what else uh featured products section right we want that to be a different section uh product category this is going to be crazy if this works uh testimonials uh footer okay now this is where we need to maybe play a little bit and go to that next step hey if you haven't already make sure you like subscribe hit the bell so you know when streams like this go live but this is the next step where we would say okay we have layout structure meaning purpose kind of like core value stuff happening inside of our prompt we're going to mix and match this prompt and what if we ooh, what if we told chat gpt to make us a better prompt to use in mid journey are we making computers do work for other computers right now we're going to do that in a second but let's finish it up here and do something kind of interesting let's go back to our browser let's head over to something like chroma okay uh chroma is like a color palette picking tool so let's do something where we uh we pick some colors i like i think i want to go let's try i don't know we have to pick 50 colors and chroma is going to make like a bunch of different palettes for us so let's pick some things that are bright and fun uh you know and we're kind of just picking all sorts of stuff because it's going to give us different stuff some of them are a little bit more muted some doesn't matter just colors we like what do we like i like that dark one i like that burnt orange one uh i like uh kind of this neutral modern mid-tone i like that rich kind of mid-tone color let's do that pale light sure we got 22 colors left let's just select an absolute ton so we can get through this process because all we're looking for is a couple other little things. Okay, cool. It says, we've got everything we need. Let's start training. Okay, it's going to generate the data. It's going to do that for a little bit, okay? Now, if you don't understand what I'm doing, if you just got here, we're trying to make websites with AI right now. We're trying to see how we can interject AI into the web design process instead of just opening up a blank canvas and going okay we're in figma let's start designing right instead what we've done so far is we've created we've created the scope of work uh using chat gpt we've created some layout approaches which right now we are going to focus on the featured products layout and then we're now creating a series of prompts for our featured products and here's what chat gpt gave me and now we're going to create a series of different prompts to try right okay it's gonna be fun let's bring this back down to 12 beautiful okay so that would be like a first prompt let's take i think this is gonna be this this is gonna be well we could we, here's a few things right e-commerce website homepage. we could do something 
here's like a differentiator, right? Everything else I, I would say in here is like very layout content driven. Here's a differentiator and we get at, we're going to be adding more. This is killing me. Come on, Figma. You, I'm going to get you out of here like this. That's right. That's right. Prompts there. Bink. Oh, I don't want to lose my prompt. Bink. Let's do, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Can we do another? piece of text down here that has the prompt in it beautiful sorry i'm like super anal about my my auto layouts here in figma uh let's get you inside of this auto layout would you please x right there okay we should be able to pop you in and you need to conform though friend you need to conform to the layout. There we go. Okay. So, okay. Back to what I was saying. This is kind of the, uh, like anything that's in red would be like some sort of variable or differentiator between prompts. We want the, the core of the layout to be there. So what are we really going to focus on here? How about we do like colorful, uh, bright, young, uh, and then we can come back in here. Look, our chroma has generated our colors. Oh, let's go screaming baby. Uh, screaming green and chambray. I said screaming baby. That was so weird. Uh, so we're going to copy this hex value to the clipboard. Let's copy that hex value to the clipboard. The, this is a prompt, right? Colorful, bright, young, fresh like that. Okay, great. So now what we can do is take this. Let's go back over to chat GPT really quickly. Chat GPT. Um, help me create a series of prompts for mid journey. <laughs> Will it do it? Mid journey AI uh, using this prompt as a, uh, as a model. I don't know, is that right? As a, as a model. Ba, 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 ba. And then we're, let's just put it in quotes. Boom, like that. Can we put it in quotes like that? Oh my gosh. ChatGPT, what are you gonna give me right now? I'm so interested. Sure, here's some prompts for Mid Journey AI based on your model prompt. Design a product page for the latest sneaker release. Colorful, bright hero image. Make sure the headline call to action buttons stand out. Include a featured product section showcasing related sneakers in different colors and sizes. <gasps> Add shop by category. Whoa, this is so weird. Um, although this is like. This is too, okay, we need to condense this though. This is interesting, but we do, we need to condense this because it's not, um, yeah, that's that's not gonna work in mid journey, right? Uh, okay, I'm already thinking of how, can I go condense this into a, uh, how do you spell succinct? <laughs> succinct, um, comma separated list. Okay, that's definitely not how you spell succinct. Uh, a, uh, condense this into a uh, uh, short, let's just do that since I can't spell the word succinct, separated list. Let's regenerate the response. Sure, here are some prompts you might consider. Uh, but, 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 design a new here. Oh, it's not going to be able to do it, okay? Uh, Mid Journey 5 accepts full language or recognition now instead of comatized stuff. Oh, let's stop generating. Thank you, Tune, for visuals. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, ba ba ba. A large. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Can you give me elements in the order? Help me create. Sorry, we want to redo this one. Save and submit. Let's do that one again. Uh, yeah, that was good, right? A delimited list. Okay, cool. So what we're doing now is generating the prompts. Um, I lay out the sneaker. Yeah, sure. So help me create a series of prompts. Yeah. So we're creating a series of prompts using Mid Journey in natural language to try to put in no in Chat GPT to try to put into Mid Journey. Um, let's see how it does. Ooh, I don't know. Um, it's gonna be fun though. Uh, while it's generating, why don't we answer a couple of questions? Let's do a little question and answer time. All right, we're looking for questions um, inside of the chat. Uh, genuine question. Why would someone choose us when now everyone's an artist slash designer because of AI and would do it way cheaper? Here's the thing. Uh, that statement is not true. 
I disagree with that statement, Shu Hari. Um, not everybody is a designer. Everybody is a, is creative. Everybody has tools available to them. But just because somebody has an expensive camera doesn't make them a photographer, right? Because composition, uh, like, you know, uh, uh, execution, uh, like processing, like post-production, like the vision of the whole thing really matters. And AI tools are getting us close. They're getting us started. They're getting us in the realm or in the ballpark, but they're not getting us to final execution. That's going to start happening eventually, right? But there's always going to be room. And I use this, I use this uh, analogy all the time. There's always going to be a place for a men's warehouse where you can go in and get a hundred dollar suit always going to be a place. There's always going to be a place for the next place would be like Indochino I can think of, which is you can go get a $400 suit custom tailored and it comes like directly to your house. But then there's still always going to be a place for a $5,000 custom tailored suit that you stood there and got tailored for. There's always going to be that place. Okay. The question is which price point do you as a designer want to come in at? What type of value do you want to bring? So consider your offering, not the tools, consider your value and your process, not the tools or the outcome. Anybody can make a website. You can make a website right now in Squarespace. It doesn't take away from the fact that, that there's web designers out there still charging 30, 40, 80, 90, hundred thousand dollars for websites, right? Just cause you can in a certain platform or tool doesn't mean you should. It's like Dr. Ian Malkin from Jurassic Park said, ah, yes, but uh, you, just because you can doesn't mean that you should. You just do it. You took it. You took it, right? And that's what he says. That's a really bad impersonation of a Jeff Goldblum, but uh, that's my best, everybody. Okay, let's jump back in now, and we'll answer some more questions later on, because here's what we have. Uh, yeah, 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 this A is struck by the use of... I didn't like that. Uh, I don't want to... No, no, no. Condense this. In, no, 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 no. Write me a, dang it, series of prompts to use in mid-journey, and there's a comma in between, to create a layout for this to design, to design a layout for this website. Write me a series of prompts, okay? Let's try that. That the last one didn't come out great. It kept saying like, "Oh, the AI is interested. The AI is amazed. The AI, I don't want that." Uh, layout for new website. No, we lost the good one. That's okay. Uh, that's okay. You might consider including. Yep, headline, short attention grabbing. Okay. Well, I tell you what. Let's start with this in Mid Journey and see what happens. Okay. I know we're gonna get to some more natural language later, but let's just for now. Let's head over, okay? If you're not uh, real used to Mid Journey, let's start getting visual. Here's some things that have had Mid Journey create for me in the past, like a couple days, just for fun. Here was a website layout. And again, here's the prompt that I gave it. I said, uh, website homepage for men's barbershop, dark UI, black and gold, custom typography, classic style. And here is what it gave me. Wow, isn't that kind of amazing? Here's another one I did, which was pixel art of an 8-bit cowboy riding into the sunset of a Western scene. And I tweaked this quite a bit to get it to my liking, but look at that. That's for me, like if I could develop a video game, this is what the entire video game would look like. It would look super dope. Uh, this was like a map, uh, an adventure map for a board game board, right? I said, top down illustrated modern board games, give me an adventure map. And I think I had been coming out of like making a pirate thing. Here's some layouts. This one was real fun. I did a while ago. I said, men's clothing sales website, listing models with clothes, realistic UI UX, user experience design, user interface, use Henry Cavill as a model and look at what we got. It's not quite Henry, it's not quite Superman, but kind of dope. So this is showing some examples of a website layout and what we're actually gonna be doing here like right now. So let's just head over to Mid Journey. We're in a newcomer's room. If you don't know how Mid Journey works, this is how it works. Let's mark all as red, scroll all the way down to the bottom, jump to present, boo yakasha. Let's pop in, here we go. Sneaker, e-commerce, website homepage, modern layout, hero image, blah, 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 bright, young, colorful, and I put two colors in. Okay, let's go Mid Journey, what do we get? Let's see what you do for us, shall we? Uh, okay, this is not ours. And if you don't know, so Midjourney is going to pop up a bunch of different variations, and you can take certain ones, like for instance, one, two, three, or four, choose which one you want, and then give me a certain amount of variations off of that. Um, so this is how you kind of like riff ideas in Midjourney, right? Is pick the unit, right? And then 
pick the uh, amount of variations you'd like to see off of it. And now we're creating, okay? It's gonna take a second. Let's see, come on, come on, come on. We're not seeing anything yet. We're not seeing anything yet. It's coming, it's gonna go though. Uh, yeah, ba -ba 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 -da -ba. yeah, 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 we're gonna get there. Okay, so while it's getting there, while it's getting there, let's talk about some other tool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, we're getting there. Whoa, we're getting there. Okay, so while we're doing that, why don't we jump over to Dolly? Can Dolly do this too? Let's try. You're out of credits. Oh, thanks a lot, Dolly. Do I have to buy credits? Yeah, I'm gonna buy some credits here in a second. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. We're getting some stuff. Oh, it's not my stuff yet. We got to wait in line. Uh, this is the one thing I don't like about this. I uh, could be using Jasper AI right now. could be using Dolly right now. Um, we're going to get there. We're going to get there, okay? It's going to generate, generate, generate. Oh, I didn't type imagine. I'm Somebody wrote that. I'm so stupid. In mid-journey, you have to type imagine. That's right. I'm sorry. That was stupid. Here's my prompt. Now, we're just waiting on nothing like a knucklehead. I didn't even put the prompt in. Get out of town. It would, I was, I I was kind of starting to think like, this is taking too long. All right, so now we've actually put in our prompt. Look at the amazing images other people are shooting out there. Okay, it's waiting to start. Look at this. Gosh, will you look at that? Gosh, so amazing. Mid journey is nuts, dude. Okay, so it should be coming in hot like any second here. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee while we wait for it to do it. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. Well, Costa Rica would have been like in the Spanish had not arrived 500 years ago. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? That's amazing. That's so cool. Red translucent push pin stuck in white paper on a white background. Look at that. That's pretty dope as well. Different variations of it. Golly. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. Things are getting good. Indigenous women from Colombia. So rad. So outstandingly rad. That's a real image. How is that not? How is that fake? How is that AI generated? Get out of my face. I'm favoriting that. Good Lord. All right. Let's go mid journey. We are waiting for you. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not quite there yet. Although these are fun. Isn't it? It's just, sometimes it's just fun to watch. Like what people are fighting with Arkita dog on a forest. I don't know what an Arkita dog is. Rerolling red translucent. Art Nouveau style woodblock font chart. Get out of stinking town. Okay. Is mine ever going to come up? What are we waiting for here? Give me my sneaker website. Already mid journey. What kind of what kind of tool are you to make me wait this long? What kind of customer service is <laughs> Just kidding. Imagine, imagine being that snotty about an AI generated tool that's doing this free for you. <laughs> and just like, I want it faster mid journey. Uh, okay, but it's seriously, though, it's not actually, it's not doing what I want it to do. So we're gonna have to figure out how come uh yeah paid model is real the paid model's worth it right because we don't have to wait for it golly should i just pay for it probably um because if you pay for it you come back here if you don't know you can come back here and you could actually purchase a plan and see all of your work and you don't have to do all this inside of the discord which is like the real downside to it um i get it yeah that kind of stinks but but for this demo you can create your own Discord server and invite Midjourney to bot. That's true. That's true. Do I want to do that? No. No, I do not. Okay, here comes our sneaker website. Oh, ho, ho. here we go. Let's check her out. Ooh. It did it take the exact colors that we gave it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What we gave it, I forget what colors we gave it already. Uh, I think it was these colors, screaming green or something like that, and chambray. So those are the colors we gave it. This is what it gave us. There, there's some of those colors are in there. It generated a sneaker on the fly. Okay. It generated a layout on the fly. Oh my gosh. Some of these are really good, dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, okay. I have my thoughts. I'm really interested to hear what everybody else's thoughts are. I don't like number three here. I like one. I like two. I like four. I think I like one the best. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna riff on I'm gonna riff on one a little bit. Let's go back and find our layout here. I like number one. I'd like to see four versions of it. Riff, 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 riff away. Come on, mid journey. Okay, but 
What I will do is uh, if I go back to my mid-journey profile and I refresh, I should have my creation in there. No, not quite yet. That's all right. So I'm going to take this and just drag it onto my, onto my desktop. And I'm going to go down and wait for new versions. But as I wait for new versions, now I'm going to come back over to my Figma file. And I'm going to start doing, this is uh, inspiration, right? Inspiration. Let's bring inspiration in here because I am very inspired. Okay. Pop, pop, pop. There's, there's some inspirations. Okay. Beautiful. Love it. Uh, and we're waiting. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can only see this, dismiss this message. Yeah. Yeah. We're waiting. Uh, I don't want to cancel the job. I really, I really want the job to happen. Okay. So let's just talk cause it's going to generate more variations, but let's talk about a little bit about what we might start doing here, right? Is really loving like the layout, we might start actually duplicating certain things. Um, like for instance, we might have it actually just make the sneaker all by itself, but instantly watch, watch how crazy this is. Okay. I might go into Figma, uh, like this and do we have any variations yet? Any variations yet? Any variations yet? No, not yet. Not yet. No. We're waiting. We're waiting. Okay. Uh, I might go into like desktop, give me like a 1440 by 1024 something like that, right? And I might uh, say like, hey, I want to fill the background with a linear gradient going from this side down to here. And I want this side to be this dark orange that was there. And I want this side to be more of this like, there's kind of like a lighter yellow going on in here. That's a little too light pink, maybe something lighter like that. And maybe we lighten it up and yellow it just a little bit to kind of match similarly. And then Look at this, we kind of have this fun shape. It's definitely uh, just a, let's get our pen tool out, right? Inside of Figma, draw here. Uh, let's go there, beautiful. Let's go around, let's make our little shape there. Love it. We're gonna fill it with, you guessed it, like whatever this dark color is. Okay, and we're gonna stretch it to fit inside of our layout. Boom, full width. We got something cracking there. Got things cranking, things are happening. No updates yet, no updates. Oh, 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 we did get a variation. Look at that, look at that. Let's drag that out. We're getting closer, right? So now we would drag this sucker in, pink like that. Oh, we're talking, we're talking inspiration here, right? And I don't know, like, I don't know what the process would be. Would I present this to somebody and say like, hey, I've created a couple of really quick mock-ups for you with Lorem Ipsum inside? Um, or would I say like, <laughs> would I say like, would I take the time and like build it out a little bit first? I don't know. Kind of depends, right? Depends on maybe how giving my client is or, um, what the expectations are like, oh, we just, we just got some new variations of the other one. That's okay. We could take that one too. That's okay. We could take that one too. Bop, bop, bop. Okay. Let's keep riffing on this. Cause I think, listen, I'm not trying to say like, oh, we found it, but let's say we just found it. Okay. Click. Version one to get four variations of picture one. Yeah, I did that. I did that. Yeah, yeah, we did that. We're good. We're good. Okay, so here's what we know, right? Um, we have like a top bar here. Uh, okay, I'm wondering if I can get the sneaker out of it. But let's line that up. Okay, we want to make that a little bit uh, like, like maybe on the darker side, but not black. Look at that. We're starting to get some stuff. I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's go right here. I'm going to hit command uh, forward slash. Let's see if I can, we'll remove background work to get the shoe out of this thing. I don't know. We're gonna find out right now, it's running. Remove, shut your mouth right now, it stinking worked. Get your mouth out of my face. That doesn't even make sense what I'm saying right now, but it's cause I'm so <laughs> amazed <laughs> that we just did that. <laughs> That's so stupidly awesome and amazing. Okay, cool. Let's pick a fun font here and go uh, shoes uh, Ipsum. We're going to fix this Ipsum in a second. Uh, shoes Ipsum for Lorem right there. Okay, I know that makes zero sense, but stay with me for a second. I'm going to go black. I'm not going to go pure black. I'm going to go whatever this was. Let's bump it up so we can see the text coming there. Uh, we need something like strong, like let's go Futura, we'll go bold, let's capitalize all the letters, let's do something like that. I don't know, it could it could work, it might not work. I, and again, I'm not trying to design 
finished things right now at all. I don't have a grid. I don't have anything like that. It's all just temporary stuff, okay? Then I'm going to come in here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I have a little thing we're going to try to use here uh, maybe in a second. Um, and then I'm going to do a little bit. My voice just cracked. Uh, I'm going to go command forward slash. Let's open up content reel because I don't like even writing with my these stupid fingers of mine. I don't even like writing lorem ipsum, okay? I just want to write lorem ipsum here uh, inside of content reel. And I want it to give me something. Hurry up, content real. Okay, is my internet connection really bad? It might be. So let's just bring this down to like 20. Give me lorem ipsum. Not one word. Give me lorem ipsum 20 words. Apply. Beautiful. I'm going to grab this. Close this. We're working inside of Figma today if you're just joining us. Boom. I'm going to take this. Uh, actually, you know what? We could maybe pull both of these to, to enter. And this one could just be like super bold, like black like that. And this one, I'm going to take it off of being case sensitive. Let's make the text white to kind of match the layout a little bit. And then let's just create a button really quick, okay? So we'll say, by now. That's not what the button's going to say, obviously. Command shift, uh, or excuse me, shift A um, to turn it into an auto layout. Let's fill that with... Our color here, got our eye picker, boom. We have our accent color now. Love it, stretch this out. Uh, boom, keep that in the middle. Uh, yeah, 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 good, 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 good. And let's round those corners. Just give it eight pixels, something like that. And then let's take the white text and make it our dark color. Okay, fine. Uh, not the most perfectest button in the world. Not the bestest thing I've ever made or created, but we are starting. Okay, so now from here, we might go back to, right? Look, we're designing a stinking layout. Let's go back. What else did Midjourney give us any other results? It probably should have uh, at this point. If it didn't, then I've done something wrong, right? Oh my gosh. Even more amazing layouts. This is, okay, so I think what this is really highlighting, folks, is um, is the fact that you may not be an artist, okay? And you may be bad at the concepting phase or ideating interesting and unique things. If your layouts are really looking like WordPress templates from, you know, the early 2000s and you're like, I just always, I can't get my mind out of thinking about pop, pop, pop. It might be a fun thing to do an exercise like this where you just spend an hour of your time on Fridays generating layouts through Midjourney and trying to recreate them. Um, and then you can twist and tweak and change those layouts to your liking, right? Because it's challenging your initial like preconceived notions of how things tend to work. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really interested actually to, uh, before we move on too far, I, to see, I don't know if I can get similar results here. I'm going to go over to Adobe Firefly. Let's go text to image. Um, oh man, I have to sign in. I'm already signed in. I'm already signed in. I have access to this. What are you doing to me? Yeah, give me access. I was already signed in. I think I had to restart my computer and it, it dumped me from it. Okay, yes, I accept. I accept. I've already been playing with Firefly. You know me, Adobe. You know I love you. Okay, cool. Let's go back. So we're all signed in. Okay, let's go down and let's... Can we drop that same prompt in here? I don't know. What are we going to get? Will it give me something? How are we going to do here? I haven't, I haven't done web layouts inside of Firefly yet. I've done a lot of... Im oh, totally, totally different vibe. What? What are you doing to me? Okay, okay. Uh, we want it to have no style though. Um, I don't want it to be an art style. I want it to be none style. This is, there's your web layout. This is really weird though. Website homepage, modern layout. Yeah, okay. This is a totally different vibe. And it probably has to do with the fact that the what the AI is modeled on, because I know that Adobe Firefly right now is modeled on um, the Adobe stock library. So that means we're going to get things that, and they're going to expand what it's modeling on probably like eventually, but you know, it's really looking, all of this is really looking more like stock photography. Very, very weird. Very, very interesting. Whereas like our mid journey stuff, gave us a lot of like actual like layout type stuff, right? Very interesting stuff. Really cool though. Hot diggity. Okay, so 
Um, man, oh man. So let's go back to Figma because I just want, that was a great kind of like exploration and what would happen there. So the, um, if you kind of mix it up and use different tools. Uh, and now I want to do generate, uh, give me a catchy headline for the uh, headline thing, excuse me. Give me a catchy headline for the uh, sneaker homepage. Uh, give me a catchy headline and subtext, uh, subheadline for the sneaker homepage. Okay, what do you got? Potential options for catchy headlines. Now we're doing copywriting headline. Step up your style game with the latest sneaker collection. Oh, I like it. I like it. Okay, we're going to wait for it to keep generating, but <laughs> I'm just going to take that one and I'm going to go back. And now what we're going to do is prompts. Let's take this down here and let's just call this copy. Thank you. Love it. Here we go. Oh, you get out of there. Isn't it amazing? Like... Headline. Okay, great. Let's do that. Uh, some of, some of your latest sneaker collection. Let's get it. Boom. I like that. Let's get in here and pop that in our headline. And let's go back really quickly. Let's turn this into a style, shall we? So we can head hold on to it. We'll call it headline inside. Let's call make this one as well. We'll call this subhead. I know they could be H1, H2, all that kind of stuff. But now we can come in here and dump that in. Bingo. Did you know, actually, this is really interesting. In Figma, I just realized they have this feature. I should have been using this years ago. You can right click on this. And when you go down to copy, paste as, you can say copy as text. And it'll never, ever ruin your style. It'll just pull the text from somewhere. And, and when you paste it into a certain area, it'll then apply the style. Okay, so that's kind of a long headline, but maybe that's because our headline is so gymassive at like 63. What if we made our headline like that at 50? Cool, great. We just edited our global style. Love it. There we go. Three-liner. I don't love a three-liner headline, but that's fine. Okay, Just take me back down to our sub headline. This says find the perfect pair. And look, I'm going to copy, copy as text. See that? What a little gem of a tip that you learned this morning. Let's stretch this guy out a little bit. Sneaker collection. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Bup, bup, bup. Delete that. Find the perfect pair of sneakers. Elevate your look from streetwear to high fashion. Not bad. Um, I wish I had a shorter headline. Um, let's ask chat GPT to do that. I need a shorter headline. I need it. AI, help me. Shop the latest sneaker trends. Ah, fresh kicks just for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fresh kicks just for you. That's way better. Thank you. Fresh kicks just for you. Come on, baby. That's the way that we do that. I'm going to take my giant image of shoes there. Look, that's much better. We can condense this to a nice crisp two lines. Bink, 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 like that. Shift A to pop it in an auto layout. And then if you want the size of this to change, fine. I'm gonna hit K here. I'm gonna scale things up. Boom, we're building a stinking <laughs> website right now. Okay, 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 okay. Now somebody, uh, this is a great thing. Uh, Binflex in the chat just said, the problem about Mid Journey is these are styles from other artists. So I wouldn't use it, but there are a ton of people who are doing it as concept art is perfect. Okay, I'm hearing you. Uh, now, now hear me when I say this. If I take this layout and use it exactly, that's no good, right? But it did generate sneakers from me or like for me from scratch, right? And if I want to change the color of the background, the color of the button, um, you know, don't use this like angle thing here, but instead straighten it out. I, I now have a starting place and within the span of, what, what has this been, like 30 minutes? In the span of 30 minutes, here's what I have generated. I've generated a scope of work, different layout approaches, the prompts to use to start generating like those different layout approaches, take the prompt, insert it, get visual inspiration, go back to GPT, create the copy, insert the copy, and we have some starting layouts. Now, I would much rather do that process in 40 minutes. And again, we can speed up this process or like quite a bit, right? Because now we have, look, we could take this prompt. Once we have all these elements here, all we had to do is take that prompt, 
repeat that prompt, change some variables, tweak it around a little bit, redo the process through Midjourney and, and ChatGPT, reapply it in Figma, and now you have variation upon variation upon variation. Are you tracking with me? So doing that really is like a, a, a massive concepting um, experiment, right? It's a journey that you're going on, no, no pun intended, yeah? Uh, and, and so you don't just take it out of the box and try to sell it or take it out of the box and try to present it. You take it out of the box, you manipulate it, you warp it, you make it your own, but it got you the box. It put all of that stuff in your in your realm, which I think is really, really cool. And so um, once, now here, let's talk really crazy. You're talking about really crazy? Okay. You're like, oh yeah, like this is great. Like I can, I can deliver like a, a, um, a, like some sort of like mock-up to my, to my, uh, like, so my, my stakeholders or my client, or, or you could just whip out the Figma to Webflow, Figma to Webflow plugin, because technically speaking, this is AI as well. And you can say, I want this frame like uh like within this is an auto layout frame right and i can make everything i can re kind of finagle my layout to all be using auto layout and i would then be able to select which project i want to put it in copy it boom pop it into a web flow and now i would have a working project like that i could actually deliver a, an actual like url like a staging url to my client <laughs> You're telling me that in the span of an hour, I could deliver coded versions and say, look at it like this. Look at it like this. It's already responsive because I'm doing it in auto layout. Auto layout translates to Flexbox inside of Webflow. But I have fresh copy for you. I have a coded prototype for you. So when I say, no, you're not going to lose your job. What I'm saying is you won't lose your job if you understand the work like the tools that are out there and leverage them in your workflow to bring you value you will not lose your job you will open up new markets for your job but if you are and this is the old john henry steam engine thing right old john henry went down to lay the the railroad and he was really good he was the fastest in the land of doing it with his own hands i didn't mean for that to rhyme but it totally did until somebody came and invented the steam engine that would hammer all the railroad spikes in, like using the machine. John Henry said, I can beat that machine, but you know what the moral of the story is? No, you can't. And it's it's a, it's a great thing to say like, I wanna be a good worker, but to not acknowledge technology is gonna make you a dinosaur like John Henry. And you're gonna be out there hammering away at websites by hand, taking you, right, what used to hand roll a website, it would be like a three, four month project, right? Design it approval, code it by hand, launch it, server, staging, code, deployment, blah, blah, blah. Then we we're like, oh, how about something like WordPress? And then we went, oh, how about something like Wix or Squarespace? Oh, how about something like Webflow? Now it has compliant code. I can build it in a night or two. Oh, how about we use AI in Midjourney and it'll help us kickstart the design process. We'll do a Figma to Webflow plugin out of Figma. We'll have it inside of there. Now we're talking about doing things in an hour or two. Are you with me? design concept to implementation to coded website. Are you with me or do you want to be John Henry? Don't be John Henry. And here, I always like get frustrated when I hear that story because you know what? If John Henry would have matched his brawn, his might, his ability with the steam engine, what could he have done? What could he have created? How much railroad track could he have laid if he would have just adopted the steam engine and went, let's make this happen together. How much can you actually create? How much can we create if we adopt these tools and start making and creating using them, right? It's so human hands, guiding the tools, adopting the tools, leveraging the tools. Man, oh man, there's something special to be said there. Hey, um, this is the end of our stream because it's been an hour. I just, I could talk about AI and web design stuff like that all day. I wish I had time to answer more questions, but I don't. But that was my soapbox moment about John Henry and artificial intelligence. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to have more hands-on time like this, consider becoming a design champion. Design champions are my own personal private membership club 
or you have multiple live events that are just for you in a smaller scale. You get to jump on camera with me. You get to do role play, which means you can be like, I have a client that's really difficult. I'll walk you through it. I'll, I'll play the role of you or your client. We do design critiques. We have a private Slack channel and you do all of this for the cost of like a cup of coffee or two, a fancy latte or two each month. You can get involved in that. The link is down in the description. Love for you to become a design champion. Big things happening over there right now. Lots of cool people joining, sharing their stuff, getting feedback because it's not just access to me. It's access to the community, the people and the growth that you find there. So um, make sure that you are looking into that and consider that if you want. Um, I, I answer way more questions over in the Design Champs than I'm able to do here on these live streams. But again, I always love hanging out with you. That's the end of our stream today. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you know when live streams are happening. As soon as I go live, you'll get an email notification and you can jump on in the live stream with me. I hope most of all that you're having a fantastic weekend. Just take the weekend. Put AI out of, AI out of your mind. Put work out of your mind. But when you come back on Monday, consider how you might leverage AI into your workflow and just become a beast in your industry. We'll talk to you soon.